Hey everybody, welcome back to iPhone Bloke, the tech team where we help quality people to pick up quality products. So, in today's video presentation, I've got a, a very strong comparison going on and this is in context to two of India's most uh, saleable, uh, let's say two of India's most uh, productive uh, SUVs and they have been gunning in competition. Uh, in the SUV department, so-called sub four meter, from a very long time. So I want to talk about primarily four to five important things, and I want to let you know my uh, you know personal experience and overall, uh, let's say uh, the real value for money proposition with the positives and the negatives. So let's get started. <music> Quick uh, announcement, I am available now on podcast. So in case if you are uh, a follower of podcast, you can hear me live speaking about vehicles on Anchor FM podcast. And the tagline is same iPhone bloke, the tech tiver. So do join the link is down below. Right, I want to talk about two of India's premier SUV segment and cars. And those are Maruti, Vitara, Brezza versus Ford EcoSport. And primarily in these two comparisons, I am going to talk about uh, the ZXI uh, dual tone petrol for uh, Maruti, Suzuki, Brezza, and of course, uh, so called uh, sports uh, petrol variant type, uh, you know, for Ford. Uh, does it really make a difference, these two uh, variants? What are the highlights and the lowlights, engine configuration, mileage, security, safety, all those things? So, Let's get down and I'll give you the real numbers with context of facts, figures, and entire whether it should be on your list or not. So let's get started. Now, if we really talk about the overall sports, uh, let's say Ford uh, sports uh, prize, which is on road gonna be 12 lakhs 66,560, wherein the ZXI plus dual tone would cost you around 11 lakhs 16,000. 191 so obviously there's a massive difference because ford is a brand which is well suited uh well uh, played in the game and they happen to have a lot of authority in the market of suv because along with tata safari when they were you know gunning in for suv this was the only company which really gave suv title in indian market so perhaps they're charging because of the build the quality and of course their overall log presence in Indian SUV market. So price a little expensive, I would say for the petrol model. Uh, in, in terms of let's say engine and transmission, uh, hear me out, this is a very, very interesting uh, you know, combination. So in Ford you have 1.5 litre petrol engine, wherein uh, in uh, Maruti Suzuki uh, Brezza you have uh, you know, K15 uh, kind of petrol engine. Uh, which is, if I go with the CC, it sh should not be more than 1496 for Ford and 1462 for Maruti, Suzuki, Vitara, Brezza. Uh, in terms of BHP, uh, Ford has 120 BHP. Uh, of course, a lot of let down in terms of 103 BHP for Maruti, Suzuki, Brezza. Uh, torque for Ford is 149, wherein uh, Suzuki has 138 Newton meter of torque. Now. If you really want my suggestion on these two engines, I think the newly launched uh, Maruti Vitara Brezza engine has got more refinement for sure. But then the Ford engine, the way they have been manufacturing so-called the low-end torque with the Ford engine is, is somewhat better. So if I talk about engine comparison of Ford and Suzuki Brezza, I think Ford wins the race because of its, uh, let's say, tractability and of course because of its overall power punch with context to BHP, 17 BHP higher and of course 11 uh, NM torque higher as well. So engine wins the race for Ford according to me. Uh, in Ford you have three cylinder engine whereas in Suzuki you have four cylinder engines. Now you must understand three cylinder engines are not that great engines but then the manufacturing what Ford has done is somewhat remarkable compared to four cylinder Maruti, Suzuki, Vitara engine. 
Uh, if I just give, have to give a little S to Vitara Brezza, that will be kind of a more tractability when it comes to driving dynamics. So when I say tractable, I mean to talk about you can still be in third gear or fourth gear with a very minimum speed in Maruti Vitara Brezza, wherein four it's possible, but not as possible as what you have in Maruti. So driving dynamics with context to driving controls and lighting controls, I think are more better in Suzuki compared to Ford. Ford happens to be a little bit tighter when it comes to driving dynamics. And the gear bit. Now, this is one particular question I've been trying to ask to all the Ford engineers and of course Suzuki, Vitara, Brez, and I've been asking from day one since the day of started YouTube channel is, why the heck in 2021 in an SUV we have five speed gearbox? Well, I never got this logic, honestly. If you see the comparison of Ford and Echo Sport, or let's say Bultara Brezza with uh, Hyundai, XUV300, Kia, they all have six gears. And I have got five in uh, Ford and five in Suzuki Vitara Brezza, which according to me is a big letdown on the highways when you talk about free and comfortable ride. So. Yes, that's a major drop down for both the engines, but then it doesn't mean that the engine is bad. Clutch. Uh, the clutch and the light uh, controls of Vitara Brezza is, is somewhat superior. I have to say that uh, Ford has not been able to manufacture a very light clutch. Even uh, the clutch of Ford, even in petrol and even in diesel, both are very, very tight compared to Vitara Brezza. So Vitara Brezza wins the race in terms of easy, comfortable driving dynamics, but then overall driving dynamics, steering feedback and the reliability and the build, I think you really have to salute to Ford Echo Sport because the moment you uh, shut the door, you get a massive third which is not the case uh, with Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, even though Vitara Brezza has now just got four crash test rating as per global and cap. Wherein for Ford, they have been tested in the Americas with NHAI and they have received four, but no global and cap. The mileage in the fuel. Uh, both are BS6 compliant. Uh, Brezza 48 liters of fuel can be given at one point of time. 52 is Echo Sport. Now, the real plus point with Maruti car is the resale point and the mileage. The mileage of Maruti, Suzuki, Vitara, Brezza is almost 12 and 13 kilometers plus regularly with AC in city, wherein the Ford Echo Sport has 11. Take my words, I've driven Ford Echo Sport petrol in city and it has never crossed more than 11 with context to AC on. On the highways, I think uh, again you end up giving thumbs up to let's say petrol variant of uh, Suzuki Brezza compared to Ford Eco Sport. And this is I'm talking about I'm not talking about let's say highway stability or presence. Uh, in that department, I think Ford Eco Sport has a, a, a much macho look compared to Vitara Brezza. So, yes. Uh, with uh, context to the other bells and whistles, which I won't talk about, and I think this is a major letdown in both the cars is. In Ford Echo Sport, you just get one pair of disc brakes. And that's the same case with, uh, let's say, uh, Suzuki. And uh, mark my words, I'm not happy when I say this. I really feel sad for Su Suzuki and of course for Ford when it comes to, you know, uh, driving and of course braking at a very high speed. Trust me, I've driven so many times Ford Echo Sport and I've had moments wherein I didn't feel confident with panic braking. So Ford Echo Sport uh, brake, uh, braking is, is, is still weak compared to the bite of let's say XUV300 or let's say uh, Kia Seltos. I think it has a weak braking system. Uh, and the same logic is applies uh, with uh, Suzuki as well. Suzuki happens to be pretty easy to control compared to Ford because Ford is much of a bulky compared to Suzuki. So yes, braking is a bit no according to me in both the cars. Boot, well, the boot space in both the cars are quite fantastic. I would not say it's a bad experience at all. You can easily carry a luggage uh, wherever you wanna go. 
But then the real plus point, which I want to talk about with context to daily drive and usage is with Ford EcoSport. Ford EcoSport, by far the most stable car on highways. When I talk about speed, when I talk about uh, you know the steering control, when I talk about driver-friendly car, you can really feel the difference. The seating comfort, the cushioning of Ford EcoSport is, is, is a million times better than Maruti, Suzuki, Vitara Brezza. Vitara Brezza, you know, the cushioning and so-called the seating arrangement, even the positioning of the driver's seat on both these two cars, I would say by far, you know, Ford EcoSport wins the race in that. So if you really take my opinion uh, when it comes to uh, best sales, then obviously I'll give uh, to Suzuki uh, for its huge network, not as much for Ford. Maintenance, both the cars are kind of neck to neck. Uh, mileage, uh, EcoSport is somewhat down, but overall highway presence, stability, uh, let's say the feel of the SUV, the positioning of the driver system, and the belt, the performance, what uh, Ford EcoSport has got over Vitara Brezza is somewhat phenomenal. So all in all, if you want a car like an SUV, a bit like Macho, and a real pleasure you know, in driving dynamics, then you're bound to choose Ford EcoSport because Ford EcoSport is somewhat superior in my books. Well, with this note, I think I've gained my best. I've tried my best to give you the best possible choice. In case if you happen to like this video, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and connect with us on podcast, Instagram, and Twitter. Till next time, thanks for watching.